All right, so you should receive an email from the first Lego League organization. It looks something like this, and it sets you up with a new um, parent or guardian account. So if you click on this link right here, it will take you to a site that looks like this. From there, you will need to create an account. So you'll need to click on Sign Up and put in your basic information. I'm just going to put in a trial account here. And information about yourself in this case. So we're just going to go with some information like this. Let's make myself be old enough that they know I'm a parent. 60, that's pretty old. Okay, and then you give yourself a made up password. And I'm just going to use a simple password and register. Oh, forgot to accept the terms. Okay, click accept the terms and then register. If I didn't get anything in there, it's going to tell me I uh, didn't have a password. So let's try that again. I must have deleted it. And try again. If I'm successful, it will tell me that I have been sent an email to confirm that I used a valid email address. So that's the first thing I'll need to do is go check my email and confirm this account creation. Uh, in your email account, you should receive an account verification. And you just have to click here and it will activate your account. It should take you to a screen where you can then um, log in. So we've confirmed our account and now we're going to go ahead and log in using that same information. Okay. And now you have created your parent account and you need to go through the process of finishing your inf personal information and then the other steps outlined in the email. So put in the rest of your information here and we'll go on to the next step. So make sure you complete all the information in there. Any place that it says it's a required field, you can always say prefer not to answer on some of them. Uh, click the accept buttons there. Here, if you have an alliance, you can say no affiliation at this point. And then you have to click all of your youth protection policy agreements. Uh, you can go ahead and read the content there, but basically uh, checking for anyone who's working with kids if there's no criminal background or anything like that. Click Next and it says there's an error, so something didn't get selected correctly. What did I not check? All right, uh, it just had a glitch and I clicked accept one more time and it moved on to the next part, which takes you right to here, this page where you're ready to go. If for some reason it takes you and it looks like this, no teams or anything like that, just click on this little plus and it expands and gives you your other options. What you need to do now is complete the youth membership registration. So if you click on that page, now it finally takes you to a page that looks more like this. And I'm going to pass this on to the instructions that they've set up for us that will walk you through these four steps of completing your youth application. Be redirected to the STEM dashboard. Here, you'll be able to add a youth to any of the first program teams. At this point, you must have the program and team number of the team you would like your student to join. Your coach or mentor can email you this information or give it to you directly. Click Add Youth. Indicate the date of birth of your student participant. Fill out the youth profile information. All fields with a red dot are required fields. This includes name, email address, legal address, primary contact phone number, as well as youth demographic information. You are also able to indicate if your student has participated in previous FIRST programs. Once filled out, click Save Account Information. Once the youth user profile has been completed, the next step is to fill out the school information. Click Edit View. All fields with a red dot are required. Information requested include 
category of the school type, if your child receives free or reduced lunch, your child's current school grade, as well as the expected year of graduation. Once completed, click Save. Once you click Save, you'll be redirected to the dashboard. You'll be able to select the program your child will participate in. Select your program. Fill out the team number of the team you wish your student to join. Team name, team nickname, and team location should automatically fill when you list the team number. Click Apply to Team. Once you apply to your team, you'll be able to complete the consent and release form. Click Edit slash View. Please read and scroll to the bottom and click Sign Form to indicate that you agree to the consent and release. A pop-up confirming your agreement will appear. Click OK. Once you've signed the consent and release form, a confirmation screen will appear, indicating that you have now successfully registered your student for your team. Click OK. You'll be redirected back to the STEM dashboard. At this point, you'll be able to scroll to the bottom and click on Add Youth if you have other students you'd like to add. And that's it. Thanks for joining us. For other helpful tips and videos, check out our team resources page at usfirst.org/ftc.